A lot of people try to search for the best browser. Well, there is no best browser. There is just preferences. And today I'm gonna show you one different browser that is not so popular. Well, this browser is Brave Browser. I have here three different browsers. Brave Browser here, Edge Browser here, and as well Opera. I use Opera some from time to time. I use Edge as my main browser. Every browser has positives and negatives. And I mean, like I've said, there is no best browser. There is just preferences and what people want to use on a browser. I'm gonna put the other two browsers here aside. And Brave Browser is also available on phone. But Brave Browser on phone, it looks a bit like Google Chrome, so it doesn't have like a different UI. Nonetheless, it's a good browser and has a lot of features from PC and also on mobile. I'm gonna show you fast here on PC and then I'm gonna show you on mobile because it's a really cool browser. It has some customizations as well. You can see at the top the search bar and you can choose the search bar to be like full or only in the middle of the screen. To go in the settings, you can go here at the top on the settings or you can go here at the bottom and open the settings. And if you go in advanced settings, you see here use wide URL bar. So then it will use the, like the full screen. I like to use it on the middle, you can hide here the menu, so as I said, hide the menu bar at the top uh, just to have a cleaner look. You can hide it or you can show it. Then you can install as well extensions. Then you can uh, synchronize your bookmarks uh, from, from here, from PC to your mobile. The most important about this uh, browser is the shield. The shield is like a ad block which is installed by default and it works very damn good. I move my mouse to another tab. I didn't I didn't even click the mouse and it shows me a preview. You see it's a bit grayish and when I click on it then it shows me the full page. Let's open here as well like for example, I don't know, Facebook. Uh, and you can see here at the top it shows me 83 track trackers blocked, uh, 26 ads blocked, etc, etc, etc. So let's say, go again to Facebook. I didn't even click, it shows me a preview. This is what I like about this browser. It shows me a preview of the page that I want to go in. And if I click on Facebook, then it shows me the full page. Now if I go on preferences, and in home tab it's the same it's something different i really like it play a video let the video in background and if i go with the mouse on the, the youtube tab it shows me that it's still playing but i'm not pressing on it i'm just uh, going with the mouse on the tab which it's my favorite feature of this browser. Now, going on the phone, well, like I've said, it has a closed look to Google Chrome, but it still has here the Brave Shield. It's also one big feature that I like about this browser, having a default ad block. Here, if you go into settings, what I also like about this browser is if you go in site settings, then it shows here all the settings which mostly sites will ask you. For example, to use your microphone, so here it says ask first, ask first, um, JavaScript allowed, pop-ups blocked, desktop mode, uh, well it, now it's in mobile mode, but if I want desktop mode, I turn it on. It has a lot of customization, but if you want to use like the desktop view and not mobile view, you press here at the top and then desktop site. So it's really fast, you, you see, when I switch to desktop site, it switched really fast. Let's go to mobile again and it switches really fast. Overall, I really like it. It might be my default browser for a while. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and let me know in the comments what's your favorite browser uh, that you use as on PC and also on mobile or if you use the same browser on mobile and as well on PC. But anyway, thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one.